Hey guys, welcome back. Today, I'll be showing you how to get mastery fast in New World. Let's get straight into it. Before we begin, I'm just here to tell you that less than 1% of my viewers are actually subscribed. It takes less than 5 seconds to subscribe, just one click on the subscribe button, and it helps me out a lot. Let's get straight into the video. Alright, so first things first, if I come over here, oh, where, where is it? It's over here, and kill this person, it may take a little bit of time, but as you can see at the top, I get an extra 10% of money and experience. Now this is because I have premium. So that is one way you can go get extra experience. The next way to get extra experience is going to menu and shop and getting the two times XP boost. These are really, really good because when you leave and you still have, let's say, an hour left, then it's when you come back next time, you'll still have an hour left of your boost. And plus it doubles it, so that's two times as fast. The next way is to go up to the hardest boss you can do by yourself and server hop, which is go from server to server and just kill them. Over here is the hardest boss I can do. Now, here are my stats. As you can see, I'm only level 1000, but I've got almost max in melee and defense. Defense is, well, for health and melee, so I can do a lot of damage for my superhuman. So I recommend putting a lot of your power in defense and melee so you can just go and, well, destroy them. As you can see, I've also got dragon, but that won't help that much because I don't have much... Oh, what is he doing? I don't have m much stat points in it. Like, what is that? Let me just turn into a dragon and go bang. As you can see, it might take a little while for you to defeat certain bosses, especially since this is the last boss that you can go up against, but it's definitely very rewarding. I mean, look at this. Oh, and make sure to constantly hit them, otherwise they will heal. What? That... They didn't even hit me with anything that time. Oh great, a sea beast. This is not helpful at all. Sea beasts are like the worst thing that can happen to me at this point of time. Let me guess, the sea beast is going to be the reason why I die. Two seconds later. That is dumb. Another way is to bring your friends along. If you have any. You can also just make some friends. As you can see, having two people is way better than just one. Finally got him back. Where, where's the tide keeper? There we go. As you can see, I get an extra 10% and I got... What was that? Like, a million XP from him. That is a lot of XP just for one kill. Now, obviously, bring your friends along to make this go double as fast because the more people, the easier it will be to kill. But make sure to ally them. And if you can't kill any bosses, just get a larger fruit and then 
put all your stats into, again, melee and defense, and go to the highest person or highest thing you can kill without them attacking you back, and put on an auto clicker, not an auto farmer, because that will get you banned, and leave it on for a couple hours or something. That will surely give you several hundred levels, mastery levels anyway. As you can see, right here, this guy has a light fruit, which is a lodger fruit. That is why he is not getting hurt while the enemies are hitting him. So he can just stand there and auto click. Alright, if you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get notified when I make a new video. Thanks for watching, and see you all next time.